What is going on guys? Today we're going to be looking at the weekly objectives for this week. So if you've not already seen it, obviously we've had a few down times in Friday and Sunday, but weekly objectives this week is absolutely banging. If, I think there's seven in total. One of them is for completing absolutely every single weekly objective this week and you get a free 100k pack. So for me, that is fantastic. I really, really rate this. And I don't want to think that we need a 100k pack every single week. But this is the right sort of content. It's getting you playing the game. It's getting you free packs. And they've, they've really definitely done a little bit extra this this kind of year on weekly objectives. They've they re they introduced them, I think, what, a year? Was it two years ago now? Um, some sort of two years ago or, or what have you. Let me know if you know when they actually released daily and weekly objectives. Um, but they never really did much. The daily objectives obviously do get you a couple of um, sometimes hunter cards, bronze packs, all of them kind of good stuff. Um, sometimes fitnesses, um, position changes, chem stars, all of them. And they're good. In general, they're normally fitness, um, scoring a header, scoring in rivals, playing rivals, play a game. And they're very basic. Like you see there, just play. Very, very basic. But the weekly objectives are now being full of cards, kits, uh, balls, packs, players, in general, this is fantastic content that we want to see more of. Each week, it'd be great to see something along these lines. So for the first one, what you've got to do is score five goals, I believe on, I think it's either, I think it's either five goals or five goals minimum professional difficulty on squad battles. Man of the match card, very easy to get. You can get anyone. Five goals on professional. I personally did it in a game, very, very simple, pick the lowest game, put it on professional, and just, if you've got one, two, three, whack them all on, and then score your five goals. Personally, I used Forrest as he was already in my club, and bang five in straight away, really, really nicely, um, against a pretty weak team. Then you've got the Ajax Spurs, which is a little bit more difficult. You've got to have minimum three Ajax players, minimum three Tottenham players, and minimum three UEFA Champions League um, rare cards. Again, very simple to do. All you've got to do is grab them players. Um, I personally, I had uh, one Yama. Uh, I think I had Zayek as well, who was Ajax. Obviously, a UCL rare as well. If you really wanted to, you can go in online singles and do it. Or you can go ahead and... Or is that... No, yeah. No. Um, in fact, which one is... I'm trying to think now. Which one is... One of them is squad battles. I think the Spurs one is online. And the Galatasaray Besiktas is squad battles. So, yeah. Um, you've got to win two, three games with it. No, two games with the Spurs Ajax one. Very, very simple. Get you another pack. Um, you'll see now we're going into squad battles. This is the Galatasaray Besiktas one. Um, what you've got to do again, very simple. Three of each team. And all you've got to do is win two squad battles with that team. Again, you can do this with the Man of the Match cards. Um, personally, that's what I did. I put the three players on and then just man managed to get Ronaldo um, on and then just subbed on Forrest to get the, the goals, basically. Very, very simple. Two games, easily done. And if you can get the Man of the Matches uh, goals done in two games, you've pretty much done two of them in the minimum amount of time that you can actually do them. So that's fantastic. You get a couple of packs. We will be showing all the packs that I did get from this weekly as well. Then you've got the assist with free, uh, no, assist free goals with Man U players. That will get you a loan end of era Valencia card for 10 games. Again, even if you've done the Valencia SBC, um, it's always nice to try them out before, which was always fantastic. That was how I was going to do Valencia, but obviously with the servers being down in in the end, I just went and got Valencia myself as I was going to get him eventually anyway. Um, so this is the first one. This is the first man of the match pack. Mega pack, very, very nice already. 35k pack for scoring five goals. Um, no, no walkout, but we do manage to get boards on it. So literally all of it's untradeable, of course, um, but any boards is always worth anything like literally you play in the match you get your five six hundred coins you get your squad battle stuff and you also get uh, a few different things we got oscar in there as well um which is always fantastic and then we got the right mid um from a car remember he's uh bosnia herzegovina did i just butcher that I, yeah bosnia herzegovina yeah I, th I think i butchered that but i don't know um the one jeko plays for the country he's from um i got his right mid um, again, we're going into the second uh, second match of the squad battles. Obviously, I did the man of the match in the first. So this is just the end of the second one. Again, very basic, very easy. You will find, uh, if as long as you do the last 
well, the first kind of two easier squads. It's very, very simple. Um, you can, I believe you can sub off your players. Um, I personally didn't, but I'm pretty sure you can as long as they start the game or in the game at some point. Then we get, I believe this was a rare goal pack. Um, again, no walkout, but to be honest, I'm not really too fussed. We managed to get boards again, which I'm always not complaining about. And we managed to pick up Kolarov, which is always nice for a league SBC. I, I don't think you actually need to use Kolarov in the Roma one, but if not, Always good for an 83 rated squad or an 84 rated squad as obviously left backs, left backs and right backs are always very much more expensive than any other position. So again, another fantastic one. This is the team that I actually used for the Ajax Spurs one. As you can tell, chemistry is a little bit off. I played a few matches to try and get it, um, but I wanted to just try and do it. I did it in online singles, I believe. Um, so again, there we go. It's all finished. And we get, I think that was a premium gold players pack or something along them lines. Again, no walkout, nothing to shout about. Um, no boards in this one. But again, it's just building up the club. It's packs. There's three packs from, I think, about six games in total for that. Obviously, you can do the Spurs one in two. Um, and then we have the Dutch one, which is basically score three goals in a winning rival match um, over the course of the week. Again, I went a little bit cheating here as I obviously had all these loan cards. I have Seedorf already. Cruyff I went and did again. And I already had Van Basten, Burkham, and Kluivert all ready for the match. So I went and did that. Again, a very simple one to do. And you managed to pick up your swap uh, deals player. This is going into the second swap deals player of the week. Um, basically, what this one is, is scoring two goals or more in any sort of online matches. And that's it. All you've got to do is score two goals, win, lose, draw. And that's it. This was the winning penalties um, to actually do it. I just thought, I know what, I'm going to throw this in here. I was quite happy that I managed to actually win a penalty shootout in a very long time. Um, and then this is my final objective. That is it. Obviously, I didn't show the Valencia one um, because that's a very basic one, very simple. Um, and I may have lost the footage, but we're going to squeeze past that a little bit. Um, but this penalty shootout was absolutely mad. I believe he didn't know how to do the penalties. If you see the head movement left and right, as I'm pretty sure when he went left or right, when I saw his head, he stayed that way. Um, so in the end... Obviously, he was going down the middle quite a lot, which I kind of I double-guessed because I thought, you never know with them. And Pogba is the worst penalty taker going. I absolutely hate him for penalties, as that run-up is so stupid. It does my head in. A um, little bit of a rant there. Um, but yeah, so we do manage to go ahead and save another penalty for him. And then we go ahead with Casemiro and bag the goal. And then we have one more save. Can De Gea save it, or do we go one more round? No, we go one more round. I'm pretty sure he saved that. But anyway, um, this was just very simple again. Foot champs, if you're doing that, rivals, all of that good stuff is always really nice. I think it is only online matches as well. And then that will be your four foot swaps of the week um, so far. So we've got 10 more to go. Obviously, we had the free one. We had the SBC and we've had the two from the weekly objectives. So as you can see here, I finished all of them. And when you finish all of these, foot, uh, all these weekly objectives you get a 100k pack. As simple as that. But the only issue is I didn't get my bleedy walkout. Obviously, you can get lucky. We did get boards, which is always fantastic. But that is, what, three or four? I think it's four packs in overall. No, three. Four packs overall. That is incredible. That is really good rewards. A 300k pack for playing the game. That is exactly what we want. And I absolutely enjoyed grinding this game out for that just to know that the rewards were really nice as you can see look at all these players 15 duplicate duplicates obviously going into my club as um untradables selling all 15 making 7k whatever you easy absolutely easy so go ahead and do it when the game comes back on or if it's not come on by this point go and do it make sure you finish them all as you'd be a fool not to it's free packs it's brilliant and i applaud ea for this I don't say we need a 100k pack every week, 50k pack, 45k pack, mega pack, just something to get us grinding this game again as I think that is 100% needed overall, but this is fantastic and I really enjoyed it. Let me know if you've finished it all, I know quite a few people are grinding towards it and let me know if you did pack anything good out of it. So that's going to be the question, anything out of the 100k pack if you've done it. If you did enjoy this video, make sure you like and subscribe if you are new around here and I'll see you all for the next one. Peace.